Coming up today on That LTD Life, let's chat with our files, PDFs, text files. Heck, we could even chat with URLs. And why not? Let's chat with YouTube videos as well. This is Humata, a brand new lifetime deal that's just hit AppSumo. Now, I'm going to go through all of the features of Humata in this video so you can decide whether or not it's a good fit for your business. But you should know that AppSumo, my favorite spot to buy software online, did sponsor this video. They asked if I wanted to have a video ready to go on launch day, and I couldn't say no. So if you want to support this content, go ahead and click my AppSumo link in the description. That really helps me out a lot. All right, onwards to Humata. So this is the Humata interface, and you can literally just add in your files, your URLs, your YouTube links, and they'll all show up here. It looks kind of like a normal file management system inside of your operating system. We can even add folders and then add the files to those folders. Like for example, I've got these two files right here. I added them earlier. They're both related to Ghost and I would like them to be in a folder. So I can just simply check the box next to them. And then up at the top, I will add them to a new folder and I'll call it Ghost API, hit confirm. And now I've got a folder called Ghost API. It's got two PDFs inside of it. And I could start chatting with either one of these files or even the entire folder. Now, I know what you might be thinking, why would you use a tool like Humato when you could just use ChatGPT and upload your files there? The answer is kind of simple. It's unlimited context. Humata acts like an intermediary between your files and the LLM, like ChatGPT. So rather than having to upload the entire file directly to ChatGPT, which is gonna eat up the context window, and then eventually the chatbot's going to forget the entire conversation, well, with Humata, we get unlimited context because it's only uploading the portion of the document that's actually relevant. Plus with Humata, they take privacy very, very seriously. You can see all of the credentials that they are currently, well, completed as well as nearly complete and in pending status for. I think it's a great sign when any AI company has a security page in the main navigation of their website. And I'll also address this objection early on. Humata has actually been funded by Google. They've got a $3.5 million Google Venture VC investment. Okay, so back over to our Humata interface. Now I could start chatting with my files right here, either on a singular or group basis, but I could also add team members and allow them to access only this folder. Now you have to get an AppSumo plan that supports team members, but if you do, just head over to team, Add in a team member right here. Once you've added your people, go ahead and create your teams. Like I added one for developers and designers right here. I can add my people to those specific teams. And then later on, I can share access with specific folders. So once you have your teams established, go ahead and find the folder that you want to share. Click the triple dots and choose access. And then you can share access to only those files so that anybody on your team can chat with those files and nothing else. All right, let's see what it's actually like to chat with one of the Humata files. I just added this YouTube video here from AppSumo. It's one of their more recent videos called Six Million a Year from a Boring Business. Let's go ahead and open this up. So I'll just click on Ask right over here. And now Humata is digesting the video and it's gonna give me a little summary as well as some sample questions in a moment. So here comes the summary and a few sample questions to get me started, and then even a draft report, because you can generate full reports where you have a series of questions, and then Humata will answer them in a report format. We'll look at that a little bit later on, but first let's really just take, on, take in what's going on here. We've got the video over on the right. Now, if this were a document, we'd see the actual document over on the right, and then the normal familiar chat window here on the left. Now, in this video in particular, AppSumo did something that a lot of YouTubers do, and it always gets me. They put out a statement that raises your curiosity and gets you to click on it. Uh, you may have heard of it, it's called clickbait. And so a boring business generating $6 million a year. I gotta know, how is he generating 6 million a year? Now I could take the 20 minutes to actually watch the video, and sometimes it's a two or three hour podcast and I just don't have the time for it, or I could just ask the video right here. So here we go. How does he make six million a year? Submit. It's thinking. And it says he makes six million a year from multiple businesses. He started with a single uh, $2,000 a month client. And then here we go. It lists his actual businesses, copy blogger, digital commerce, 
Recovery Local. Uh, yeah, it looks like those three businesses. It's expected to be around $5 million. And he's also got some investment opportunities through his agency by doing good work and building a reputation. So he's got more business growth there. That must make up the extra million per year. All right, sorry, AppSumo. I don't have to watch this video anymore. Humata saved me 10 minutes right there. Okay, so what's it like to actually add content to Humata? Is it complex? No, not at all. You literally just drop the file right here or enter in a URL. I've got a transcript of one of my recent Taco Truck Roundup videos. I'm gonna go ahead and feed that to Humata right now. All right, here we go. This is just a text file that I generated with Mac Whisper, and I'm going to upload it to Humata. It's thinking. All right, now it's working, and this is the UI that you'll usually see. This little gray pulsing circle will eventually turn into a countdown timer, and when that countdown timer completes, then I'll be able to chat with my file. Here we go, it's counting down from about 20 seconds, and momentarily I'll be able to ask questions about the last episode of the TTR. All right, it is done. It ended after about nine seconds, so it got, got done early there. I'll click Ask, and I can go ahead and start to engage with my transcript. All right, so I wanna know what was the highest rated tool of the week, and the highest rated tool was Audio Hero, which received a 7.9 out of 10. Now, it honestly didn't do the greatest job right here, but one really nice thing that Humata will often do is highlight the actual relevant section of the PDF where it found the answer to the question. So it actually links you right here to it. Now, in this case, it kind of gave me too much, but I think it's because this is a raw transcript and it's not punctuated or formatted very nicely, but I can see that the overall reference to a 7.9 out of 10 is right there. Next, I wanna to try to chat with a URL. Now I've got AppSumo up here and I'm looking for products that have a lot of reviews. Like how about True Conversion right here? I've actually reviewed this product myself, but I wanna hear what others have to say. So I went directly to the review section of AppSumo and then down at the bottom, they've got a see all reviews button. I'm gonna click on that. And now I literally get all of the reviews for this product. So let's copy that URL. And back over in Humata, I'm gonna go ahead and add this in as a website. I'll click right here, paste it in, and hit the go button. Now it's thinking, and here it is, all of the reviews. It's currently processing this, but it'll be available for me to chat with momentarily. Now I'm using this in the context of LTDs, kind of a fun thing that can grow your business and make you profitable. But if you're doing serious research, like maybe medical research or legal research, I think your wheels might be spinning about how actually practical this tool could be. Okay, so it's now ready to chat with. I'm gonna open it up. Over to the right, I can see the actual page itself. And now the summary is being displayed. I can see that it's you know available for $79, discounted from $4.99. And here's a sample question. What are some of the features that users appreciate about the tool? I could click on that, but you know what, let's go ahead and find out what people dislike about the tool because sometimes that can be just as helpful. All right, so what are some of the features people dislike about the tool and send? And here we go, we've got some actual results. It summarizes the result right here, but it also provides these links so I can go to specific reviews where people complain about certain things like, okay, this tool doesn't work very well with WooCommerce. And if I go back to the other one, they say that it's limited for lower stack code users. So you need to pay a little bit more if you wanna get all of the features. It even tells me that Humata is less confident in this answer and to verify the accuracy. So even if it's not positive, it's going to do its best to give me an answer, but let me know, hey, double check this, I'm not totally sure. That's like what any smart friend that you have, oh, I think it's this, but double check it, right? But then the annoying friends are just like, yeah, that's the answer. But Humata is cool, it's the smart friend. Okay, there's so many more cool things we can do here. Like I could click the share button up here and then actually embed this on my website. The first thing I need to do is make it so that anyone with the link can see the chat. I could also change the quality of the answers here, whether they're grounded, balanced, or more creative, but I'm not interested in that right now. Grounded will do. What I do wanna try out is embedding this on my website. So I'll click right here and now I've copied the embed code. And now here I am on our website. I'm gonna make a new page. I'll just add in an HTML block here, paste in the embed code, and let's go ahead and publish this. And here it is live on my website. I have it constrained by my theme, but of course I could make this full width if I wanted, and it's fully usable. I can interact with it as much as I'd like. 
You can thumb through the page here, ask questions, and when you're done, just copy the answer. Humana also has a full API so that you can actually utilize it without even needing to log in. Especially if you're a developer, this could be really handy. If you wanna learn more about the API, they do have some full documentation here. It's pretty in depth and should get you everywhere you need to be in order to get files into and out of Humata. All right, so throughout the video, you've been watching me just chat with individual files, but you know what? You can chat with your entire library at any point. There is an ask all button. Let's go ahead and click on this. Now over to the right, I can see all of the files. So here I've got a confidentiality agreement. If I scroll to the next one, I've got that AppSumo video. We've got a tax video that I grabbed off of YouTube. Here's a document from PubMed on machine learning in healthcare. There are those ghost files. Okay, so everything is here. Let's just go ahead and ask a random question that's buried deep in one of the PDFs and find out if Humata can find it. All right, so I found this stat right here. It says nearly 25% of Americans do not have a PCP or primary care physician. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ask it. What percent of Americans don't have a PCP? The idea here is that maybe we can use Humana as kind of like a second brain where you just dump in all of the articles that you're reading, any PDFs, research documents that you know you need to take some serious notes on, but haven't quite gotten to yet. So the idea here is I'm just thinking like, all right, I know I read this somewhere, but I can't recall where it was. Let's find out if the AI will remember for me. All right, so I asked the question, how, what percent of Americans don't have a PCP? And it's currently thinking, and there we go, we've got an answer. Based on the information provided in this PDF, 25% of Americans don't have a primary care provider. And I can go ahead and click right here, I believe. Oh, it looks like the reference is not working on this one, but it did get the answer right. So I'll give it, you know, 80% credit there. Now it does reference PCP 101. And if I go back and look at the document, here it is 101 right here. So it tells me kind of where to look, but not nearly as good as just direct linking to it. All right, there's just one more feature I wanna check out and that is AI generated reports. So what I'm gonna do here is open up this folder I've got called AppSumo AI. Inside of here, I've got two URLs, one for Merlin and one for Triplio. These are their sales pages. I'm gonna go ahead and just chat with this entire folder by clicking on ask all. Now I've got the documents loaded up here on the right. Here is Merlin and here is Triplio. What I wanna do is make a report to help me determine which is the better deal or maybe which fits my business better. So what I can do is click right down here on the little AI icon and create my own AI report. I've actually got two options here. I can create a new document, which is going to actually just say, you know, write a report on and it will output a document. Or I can go back to the other option to actually have it create a report where I ask it specific questions. So it's really up to you which method you choose. If you notice under the summary and the sample questions, they actually give you a draft, an idea for a report prompt. So maybe I'll just try this one here. Write a comparison report on the pricing and features of Merlin and Triplio for potential users. Click generate report, click create new document, and then I'll paste in the prompt and hit create. Now, if I wanted to use that exact prompt, I could have just clicked right up here and it would draft the report but I did wanna go into that menu to show you exactly how the generate report function works. So now it's generating the document. It says it's gonna take about a minute to do so. It does tend to take a little while for these reports in my experience, but uh, let's just be patient and see what the AI robots come up with. All right, we're ready to go. It says, here's your document. I can click on this, open it up, and I've got a full report comparing the two tools. Looks like I'm gonna be out of a job in no time. All right, so there it is, Humana, from cutting through the clickbait headlines on YouTube to creating full-blown reports that could be actually helpful for scientific purposes, or maybe even just acting as your second brain. There's a lot this tool offers. Definitely recommend checking it out over at AppSumo. Once again, I'll have my link in the description for that. If you click on it, it helps support this content. If you have any questions about Humana, definitely leave me a comment down below. I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a final score. I really like Humata. I'm gonna give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10. All right, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the content. My name is Dave. I will see you in the next review.